things have changed in a way in science over the years, in, in genetics, I would, I would argue. Uh, there is more activism, at least in terms of occasional instances when uh, geneticists will speak out on issues. And if you look back at the history, I think that you can attribute a lot of what has happened since 19, the late 1960s to the activism that existed within science that time in groups like Science for the People and, and student groups that were active around social issues. In 19, 1969 was quite a year for this kind of thing. Um, the students at, uh, science students at MIT called a national student strike because of the use of, of concepts and ideas and achievements of physics to develop sophisticated weaponry in Vietnam. And the Science for the People organization itself started in 1969 and became quite uh, publicly known for its appearances at, at scientific meetings, uh, making their statements about the uses of science. Um, so when in the mid-1970s, uh, geneticists developed a technique for a much better technique and much more widely usable and readily usable technique for purifying genes from organisms than we had uh, proposed and described in 1969. There was a moment of, of uh, standing back from that science and wondering about its consequences. And this is what is known as the recombinant DNA debate. When a group of scientists, uh, public and rather prominent scientists such as Jim Watson and others, uh, called for a temporary moratorium on research on recombinant DNA, which was a highly unusual step. Uh, I have to say, afterwards, a lot of the scientists, including particularly Watson, regretted that they had done it in the first place, but it was a step that they took, and I think it was influenced by the ferment uh, within the scientific community at that time. And later on, uh, again, Jim Watson appears doing something quite interesting, which was when the Human Genome Project was initiated in 1989, he announced he was going to devote 3 to 5 percent of the budget of that project for uh, investigations of the ethical, legal, and social implications of the project. And that 3 to 5 percent is actually was a huge pot of money, uh, in particularly in the field of ethics and social implications of science.